Hey guys, it's like here coming out with a quick video. Now today I'm gonna be showing you kind of um, that the Dell uh, 75 or it's an Inspiron 507579 uh, two-in-one does work on macOS Sierra. Let me just quick pop up here. Um, as you can see, we're on 12, 10.12.6, uh, which you need because um, that's the first version that can use Skylake, even though you can. Um, fake it in the other versions with a uh, fake CPU ID. This is the best way to do it. Um, as you can see, everything's loosely uh, kind of together, and we have full graphics with no work actually required. No, um, I didn't really have to do anything for that. Um, it just automatically worked without injecting Intel. But when you did inject Intel, it did not work. As you can see, my mouse and my keyboard are working. Um, that is, I had to install. A um, rehab man uh, kext for that. Um, it's just one of the um, PC2 kext um, that you can get. Um, and as, as you can see, we're running 1080p. Um, <clears throat> it's working fine. You know, this will work on the 13 inch version equivalent of the i5 version. Um, for uh, Wi Fi, <coughs> I had to use this little Netus adapter, which actually took some work because the actual Netus adapter. Um, like installer didn't work because it had 10.2 as max support so I had to actually download the Realtek uh, RTL I think it was 8188 um, kex and network utility so as you can see we are connected now um, I'm actually not going to show that because it's got network information but I am connected to the internet um, both USB 3's are working I haven't tested HDMI or anything like that yet um, but yeah, but also one problem so far that I am working on currently, and I'm sure I'll get it working, is the audio, um, which should be fixed when I patch um, and do the DST, uh, DSDT stuff in uh, the BIOS, or not the BIOS, uh, just DSDT patch it, should fix this, um, and then I'll have like battery percentage so I can use it on battery and such. Um, but yeah, everything's working really well. Um, you know, really smooth and everything like that. Um, the definitions I'm using for this is a MacBook 14.1 because um, I have a K uh, KB Lake processor. So you can see 14, uh, MacBook Pro 13 inch 2017. Um, yeah, so that's what's working for me. Just wanted to show you guys that it is working and everything. So if you guys have a similar laptop, maybe you can ask questions. Um, you know, this looks really nice, and one cool thing that I think would work is touchscreen actually worked before the keyboard and the mouse, because before the keyboard and mouse wouldn't work at all, so I had to use the actual touchscreen to go through the installer, which was pretty cool, um, that that actually just worked out of the box, so yeah, just wanted to show you guys that. Currently, as you can see, I do have it plugged in, um, uh, you can't see that, I'm not going to try to bring light to it, but um, I just got to patch the uh, DSDT so I can... Uh, actually take it off the charge and that should fix the audio but anyway guys thanks for watching um if you have any questions like i said let me know down below i know this wasn't a usual video but some of you guys are pretty interested in this stuff so i thought i'd post it so um anyway guys thanks